Tim Bingham with Delta Derivatives joins us now for the Trader Rundown. A big day with that jobs report out. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think it'll be unless, you know, you have it, uh, you know, a huge reaction to it. I think the Fed is almost forced into at least two rate cuts here, uh, given the fact where Fed funds yield curve and everything else is kind of positioned here. So I think two is baked in. But if we have a really weak job numbers, may pour 10 for three. Strong number, maybe only one. So I think a weak number will actually be better for the market overall. That's a lot of cutting. Do you think it's warranted? I, you know, personally, I don't. But again, it comes down to the fact that the bond market's almost forcing the hand out here. Certainly, growth is uh, slowing. But I mean, two, two and a quarter percent is not an onerous rate. But every quarter point matters as far as stocks and companies are concerned. So now that yields are so low on the bond, you're taking a look at some dividend yielding stocks and have those been performing well this year? Yeah, absolutely. We talked about, I think, last time the utilities kind of got ahead of themselves. I trimmed out some of those. But the oil stocks, which have some very healthy dividends, actually have uh, come down here because of the price of oil. So I'm looking at stocks like Chevron uh, yielding about 4%, less than the 60% payout ratio, which means you know they only pay out 60% of their earnings, so very safe here. Uh, stock looks good on the chart, that 114 level. So I'm just buying shares, selling a covered call to bring in a little more income. Happy to generate, you know, about a five and a half percent standstill return, given that the 10 years, you know, approaching 2%. Dropbox, a big name on your list. Yeah. Out of the box for that trade. Uh, absolutely. A couple of days ago, I saw massive call buying in the July 23 calls. Over 40,000 traded. Wow. Uh, stock uh, dropped since then, but the calls are still up. So the stock's down, those calls are up. So I'm just doing a simple buy right there as well. Buying the stock is somewhere around the 2220 range, selling these comparatively expensive July 23 calls, leaning bullishly with that call buyer. More importantly, taking advantage of the fact they had to overpay to get into this trade. I'm a willing seller of those options. But somebody thinks that stock is going to rally. We will find out. I'll be absolutely happy if it does. If it doesn't, at least I captured their overpayment. Good point. Thanks so much for coming on the show. You bet anytime, man. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.